Hey, you're tuned in to Queen TV. Greetings and welcome back to Queen TV. Thank you guys so much for tuning in on this Memorial Day holiday. I hope you guys are enjoying your family. Tonight will be very short as I need to get in um enjoy my family for the rest of this, this day. But I want to um share um something that I experienced on last week. So let's get right into it. Right into it. Greetings for watching Queen TV. Okay, so um, last Thursday I had the opportunity to share with some young queens at Kirby Middle School here in Memphis, Tennessee. It was about a group of 40 or so, 43 girls, and um, the topic was, Who Am I? So my focus was um, kind of giving them the what makes up who, who am I, that whole title that theme, that message. So it started off with, What Am I? And I gave them the word, pure. So in order to be pure, we must make sure that we are um, staying connected, one, with Jesus Christ, remaining clean. By the definition pure, it means to be clean and um, unadulterated, uncontaminated, meaning we can't allow ourselves to become connected with junk. We can't allow ourselves to be around or in mess or messy situations and I explained to them that it's a lot of things in the world that we connect to that makes us ultimately unpure in our hearts, in our bodies, in our minds, in our spirits. It starts to affect our relationships not only our relationships with people but our relationship with Christ when we become connected with young men sexually or we become connected with secular music or our x-rated movies or pornography or whatever it is we ultimately become unclean but God is the only one who can make us clean. He is the only one who can make us pure. But it's up to us to guard our hearts, to guard our minds, to guard our spirits, to guard our eyes. Because it all matters in making us clean and pure. So the second was, uh, why am I? And I gave them the word purpose. And I gave them um, the opportunity to inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. And that right there lets you know that you are purpose. You are created on purpose for a purpose. And it's up to us to figure out what that purpose is. As young ladies, as young men, um, we're, we all have different talents. And I explained that whatever you are good at, become better at it until you're the best in it. Ooh. Whatever you are good at, become better at it until you're the best in it. So that's drawing, that's singing, that's rapping, that's dancing, that's speaking, um, that's motivating or encouraging people, that's preaching, that's teaching, that's taking pictures, that's doing hair, that's makeup. Whatever it is that you are good at, continue to work at it. Continue to do everything that you have to do so you can become better at that. So you can continue to bring God the glory through your talents that he has given you don't allow your talent to be buried you work hard at it and you do what you have to do to continue to bring God glory um, and he will elevate you God has called you um, he has purposed you and he will do the elevation he will continue to lift you up and place you on those different platforms and wherever he um, has destined you to be and then the last was who am I I am queen, and everybody know that. You are queen. A kingdom woman effortlessly embracing nobility. That is, I was born into royalty. I was born into it. My savior is the true and living king. And all he asks is that I accept him as Lord and savior, and I live this life worthy of God who calls us into his kingdom and glory. Yes, we make mistakes. Yes, we sin. Yes, we fall short. Yes, we are not perfect. I ain't want to use double negatives. But we are not perfect. But God is. He is. And he has called us into his kingdom. So we are uh, to give him praise. We are to give him honor. We are to give him glory. 
through the living of our lives. Our actions with who we say we are must line up with it. Who we say we are, our actions must line up with it. And I explained to them because they gave me diff many different things of who they say they were. But I told them, if that's who you say you are, then your actions must line up with it. If you say that you are a very intelligent student, then your grades should line up with that. If you are a dancer, then your moves should line up with that. If you are a preacher, then your words should line up with it. If you are an encourager, then the people that follow you or listen to you should be encouraged. Whatever it is that you are, make sure your actions are lining up with it. Make sure you are truly living how you say you are, who you say you are. And um, I just, I'm just so grateful that I had the opportunity of sharing that with them. And I wanted to share with you guys, make sure you allow your children, your young uh, queens and kings to, to watch that because... Um, they 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 rarely get any encouragement on a daily basis and it's our job to encourage those young kids and it's so funny because a lot of them think I'm a celebrity because I have a YouTube channel but y'all know I ain't trying to be well known I'm trying to hear well done um so I thank y'all for allowing your your children to uh watch Queen TV I pray that they are too receiving something um from the the little brief uh, episodes that I share with you all and um, I, that's pretty much all I have so share this video with any young ladies that you know and um, to remind them to stay pure um, to understand that they are purposed and to effortlessly embrace nobility through queenship um, that is why this channel is created what this channel is all about um, so I love you guys Christ love y'all so share this with some young queens and thank y'all for watching. Um, continue to enjoy your family. Happy Memorial Day. Next week I'm getting on my first flight. I thought it was this week, but it's actually next week. So Pinky Promise, here I come. Hey, hey, here I come. Okay. I always start playing and get distracted. Oh God, I spoke for 19 minutes. It's a long time. I gotta cook, cook, cook. Okay. Bye you guys. I love y'all. Remember. Kingdom women and men effortlessly embrace your nobility. See you next week. Peace.